Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ben. You might remember me from other videos that I've done and uploaded to my channel called Ben Rogers without a D in my last name. R-O-G-E-R-S and Ben B-E-N. Anyway, this is a video about my new antipsychotic medication called Quetiapin, or also known as Seroquel. Seroquel is a, a atypical antipsychotic drug and it works pretty well in damping down your dopamine in your brain, dopamine levels in your brain get dampened down so you should have less voices intruding into your brain and you should be able to think more clearly on quetiapine but this is proven to be the opposite for me I want to come off it as soon as I can because it's making me really really depressed and it causes me excess drowsiness as well, you might notice this my eyes are quite shut because I'm really, really tired. I saw 100 milligrams of it. I meant to be working my way up to 400 milligrams. I don't know how tired I'm going to be of 400 milligrams if 100 milligrams does that. Anyway, I'll be getting my other 100 milligram dose at bedtime tonight, about 10.30 tonight, along with 10 milligrams of Dijipam and 150 milligrams of Trazodone. Trazodone is an antidepressant that I take to help with sleep and also to help with my depression. So that might cancel the quetiapine out and I won't feel depressed, I'll just feel normal. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm hoping that'll happen. You never know, do you? Drunk, I might not be lying. I'll make a video tomorrow up on my progress. It'll be called a vlog, video log of my progress. I'm 14 weeks clean, 13 weeks clean of heroin, 12 weeks clean of crack, I think. I might be 14 weeks clean off her right now and definitely 12 weeks clean off track though, that's the main thing. I don't really think about heroin anymore, I think about OxyContin more than heroin. And OxyContin is an extremely addictive pharmaceutical medication. Homemade, not homemade, made in a pharmaceutical lab somewhere across, somewhere on the other side of the world probably, probably in China or Japan or somewhere. The current Purge Farm are based in the USA, so it could be originating from the USA. I know there are a lot of opioid addicts out there in the USA, in America, and I, I speak to them daily, some of them. Not all of them, obviously. I speak to five of them, I think. Five or six opioid addicts in America. They would seem like really nice people, and one of them said I can come over and stay with him if I want, but I haven't actually got a passport at the moment, but... When I get a passport, I'll see if he can see the saving my money up for a flight. And same with you, mate, Matt. If you want me to, Matt, I'll come over there and tell you my life story. But you can probably work out my life story from going through my videos from 2009 to the present. So it basically says everything I've done in that scheme, that scheme of time, that scheme of time. And it's not a lot, really, I've been doing drugs, prescription drugs, analytic drugs. It's been partying hard, rocking and rolling. That's what I do. Now I look like I'm, I'm on gear. Look at my look at that eye there. That eye there is very really close. I feel really drowsy actually. Off a hundred million of quetiapine. So obviously I haven't got a tolerance to quetiapine anymore. I used to be on eight hundred milligrams a day of it somehow. Don't ask me how, but I used to be on that high dose. And once I took an overdose on it, I took two thousand and eight hundred milligrams of it. So two 800 milligrams, and that was really hard to deal with because I kept getting brain zaps, electric shots through my brain, and it was really irritating. I got admitted into North Durham District Hospital in Barnstable, where I was sectioned before. This was a different occasion, of course. But it was really unpleasant being in the hospital, trying to get, we got to be, uh, what's it called? Just harping out of my system. I didn't have to have my stomach pump, pumped, but they kept giving me loads of water to drink. And I won't ever drink that amount of water again in my life. They were pouring it down me to try and flush my system free of uh, antipsychotic medications. And quetiapine also stops you being able to think straight. It's meant to make you think straight, but it doesn't have that effect on me. It kind of blocks the words that I want to say. And I find it harder to get the words out of my mouth and in the air. I find it much harder to think whilst I'm quetiapine for some strange reason. Sorry I'm physically because I, I need an opioid or an opiate. I wouldn't mind getting some gear but 
I'm off that now, so I mustn't think like that. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind if I'm an OCAC right now, just to chill me out. Probably wouldn't would make me go to sleep, actually, an OCAC right now. I think it's breaking it in half and getting an effect off it. I've got such a low tolerance now, I'm down to 12 now soon. When I was patrolled OxyContin, I was actually 17 soon. <coughs> really heavy for a guy of 5 foot 9. And this basically made me gouge out all through the evening, through 6 hours, through from 12 pm midnight till 6 or 7 in the morning. When my mum got up for work, she was probably gouging out on the sofa when she was getting ready to go to work in Bidifer. And this is quite distressing for her to witness my eyes roll back into my head. I can't do it because I'm not high or anything. I can't do it, put it on. It's impossible to put it on. But when my eyes roll back in my head from my Oxford gyro crisis, it looks like I'm on gear. As touched on in my previous video, I mentioned my Oxford gyro crisis. This is a condition where your eyes, your pupils, and your eyeballs they roll back into your skull into your head, so it looks like you're gouging up, but it's that like natural illness from doing too many antipsychotics and stuff like that. It's really irritating as well. I don't think I'll get that on Quetarpin, because the flu capital depot, depot is, is it's antipsychotic and it's done here and it's done in the buttock or any other muscle in your body, because in your arm, you've got loads of muscle in your arm, or your leg, it's got quite a lot of muscle in from walking up the hills in Africa. Any muscle you can do into a muscle injection into. I need a drink of water, but there's none in here. So I hope you can understand this. If you're not, then please turn the subtitles on and see what they say, if it makes any sense at all to you. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel if you want to view more videos on me. And please hit like, thumbs up for me. And please comment below if you have any questions. I know it looks like I'm high, but I'm not high at all. I'm feeling like absolute crap today because I took that to typing. It dampens down my dopamine too much and I feel like crap up here. I tell you, in my brain, it feels really bad. I don't recommend quetarpin. I'll be pushing on weight as well soon. So, see you in my next video. Please subscribe to me and rate this video up. It's five star, it's a really one. Cheers now, bye all.